How's it going guys? Today we're gonna be making a roasted leg of lamb. You can smoke this, you can grill this, do whatever. Found this at Sam's Club, bought it on clearance a while ago, froze it. You can cook this to medium rare, medium. Oh, it probably wouldn't go over medium. Should be really good. We're gonna keep it real simple with seasoning. We're gonna do uh, suckle busters, uh, lemon pepper, garlic. Really nice, savory, little floral hints here and there. So it's really good, not too pepper heavy. Then we're gonna do a little bit of Italian seasoning, rosemary, thyme, all the good stuff. First thing, get it out of the package. Nice and clean. A lot of these come with this net-like thing and they're pretty sure that's probably not safe to cook with it on like that. Not 100% sure. Let me know in the comments. I like to pat it dry. I'm gonna trim up some of the silver skin on it. Shouldn't be too much to do though. This back side is where you'll see a lot of the silver skin. Like all that stuff we're gonna trim off. You're gonna be using Dijon mustard and a little bit of red wine vinegar. Mustard, hot sauce, whatever you want. You can even just do plain water. It's up to you. Not too much. Dry brine overnight to let that salt and seasoning really get into the meat. They're gonna give it a nice hard sear in the cast iron. You can also reverse sear this too, throw it in the oven and then sear at the end. Make sure you have a little bit of oil in there, high temp preferably. Sear on both sides till it gets some nice color, then it goes into the oven. Lamb is nicely seared off. We're gonna be shooting for medium rare for lamb. It's gonna be about 130, 135. Lamb has a tendency to stay really pink, even if you go to like 140, 145, I've noticed. So it may look like underdone, but if you check the temp, it's reading like 135. I'm like, how is it still that pink before? I don't know. Lamb's odd. We got a product review to do today, so. Watch my last couple videos. I've been using the Thermapro Temp Spike. Been used this a couple cooks, works great. They just sent me a Thermapro Temp Spike Plus. Main differences you can see here is just in the probes. Here's the standard Temp Spike. Pretty thick all the way through. Here's the Plus. See that you do like a side by side. Really narrow in comparison. This is much lighter, this is pretty heavy. They said they, uh, they changed up all the stuff just to make it easier to insert. I did notice with the thicker one, it, you kind of had to force it in just because it was such a thick probe. I noticed on initial setup, this setup, I got this hooked up to my phone in like 10 seconds, it was done. This one took a little bit longer, so they made some updates to the booster module. Other than that, it should work the same. You get the app, you track, you set your targets, like live fire cooking, you can set your ambient alarms too. So we're gonna insert this. Take it to about 130, 135, pull it, then we're gonna let it rest. We're gonna do all other sides. We're gonna do roasted potatoes and then we're gonna do a mint sauce with it. First, we're gonna tie it up and then we're gonna insert it. So we're gonna put it right, oh yeah. That inserts way easier. Let's do a quick side by side. So here's the standard one. That one was just like a pound of pressure one end. This is the other one. That's definitely needs a lot more force to get through because it's a lot thicker. So that's definitely a lot easier to use. Oven at 250 to an internal 130, and then we're gonna do all the other sides. This should take about an hour, hour and a half at this size. So let's throw it in the oven. We're gonna get started on some of these sides where that lamb's going. Get yourself some red potatoes. Reds or Yukons are great for roasties. Mashed potatoes and French fries use russet, so. Got a whole pile of potatoes. We're gonna throw uh, baking soda in there. Does something with the pH. Uh, this is something I learned from Kenji Al Lopez a few years ago. Does something with the pH, it roughs up the surface of the skin. Knife tender, take them out, and then we're gonna throw them into a pan. Once they're knife tender, we're gonna throw them into a bowl and rough them up. Just grab the sides of your bowl and flip them over and over. It's going to be nice and roughed up. We're going to season it pretty heavily with salt and pepper. Go as heavy as you like. Then we're going to chop up a red onion. This is going to go along nicely with the potatoes. And then a whole heaping pile of garlic. Flatten them out, mince them up. Tie everything together. A little bit of bacon. Leave the bacon quite large. You're going to shrink in the pan. Throw into a cold pan so you can render out a lot of that grease. Drop your onions in halfway through. Salt and pepper, garlic at the very end once everything's starting to get a little crisp and translucent. Take that out, throw your potatoes in, fry in that bacon grease so everything's nice and crunchy. I take a few bites out of them to see if they're good enough. 
Then the C, nice and crunchy. They're best fresh. Then we're gonna make some mint sauce, chop them some mint, put some boiling water, white vinegar, apple cider vinegar, salt and pepper and sugar. That's all there is. Once the probe says we're ready, we pull it out of the oven. Look at that beautiful leg of lamb. Let it rest 10, 15 minutes. Let that juices redistribute. Take the probe out and the forbidden spaghetti, not very edible. Beautiful, medium rare, coast to coast. I let it sear a little long on the top side, but everything else turned out perfect. Drizzle a little bit of that mint sauce on top, serve with the roasties and some peas. Let's get some test bites. Mm. What'd you score? Mm, I'd say a nine. Really tender, nice flavor. The suckle busters didn't overpower it. I still taste the lamb though, that's good. Last time we did them smoked, Nicole didn't really care for it much because it kind of just blew the lamb taste away. Mint sauce is really good on the lamb. The new Temp Spike Plus is a pretty big improvement. The biggest difference is I noticed it's a smaller package, thinner diameter, so it's easier to insert and remove. The connectability seems a lot more like, definitely makes some actual improvements to it. If you like this kind of content, like, comment, subscribe for more. We'll see you next time.